What's up everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you my first impressions of the brand new 2013 Nexus 7. Let's get first impressioning. So I've been using the new Nexus 7 for two and a half days, not enough time for me to do a full review, but plenty of time to share some first impressions. So when it comes to all the performance specs and all the benchmarking, I'll cover that in the full review. Uh, so I've been using this as my only tablet again for the better part of two and a half days, and I've really enjoyed it. First and foremost, the big difference is the screen. It is absolutely gorgeous to look at. Whether not you're browsing uh, websites or looking at videos or playing games, the screen is absolutely awesome, especially 1080p on a seven inch tablet uh, really blows me away. So the combination of Asus and Google uh, did a really, really incredible job with this. Uh, surprisingly, viewing angles are really good, even in direct sunlight. So however far you look at it or where you turn it, you can always see the screen. So that's been really pleasant uh, to see as well. I tried to open as many apps as I could to see if it could get bogged down. It handled everything really well. No slowdown at all in speed. Performance is pretty baller uh, in the new Nexus 7. Uh, but not everything is totally Rosie, I did have a few issues. I had a really hard time locating and pushing the power button in the upper right hand corner, figuring out where it was just by touch is kind of difficult. So that's definitely going to take some getting used to. Uh, and one of the biggest surprises for me is the Wi-Fi radio is not that strong. I had a really hard time picking up a good signal in my home where every other tablet I've tested, either Android or iOS, has had no issues at all. So I'm going to continue to test that with other Wi-Fi networks to see if that continues uh, to be the case. So a few things that impressed me as well uh, is what's happened with Google Play over the past few months and even a year. There used to be not very many tablet optimized apps there. Now there are an absolute ton of apps meant just for Android tablets. So if you were sort of teetering on the fence because you have that sort of preconceived notion that tablet apps aren't there yet, do not worry. There are huge, huge, huge amounts uh, of tablet applications. So that was kind of nice uh, to see. Uh, I do like the new back, the sort of soft touch feel. It's really nice to hold in the hand. Uh, the bezels on the top and the bottom are still a little bit on the thick side, but the reduced bezel on the side was really nice. It almost feels uh, like a different aspect ratio because it's so thin. So I really liked holding it. I found myself actually using it uh, in portrait mode and not landscape like I do uh, other tablets. So that was kind of interesting as well. I set it up pretty much the way I set up an Android phone. So the way it's performed and looked for me was just like a bigger version uh, of my Google Play Nexus 4 that I'm using as my daily driver. Um, I really enjoyed the tablet performance again. Uh, was awesome. Looking forward to testing it a little more thoroughly uh, and seeing how it performs. But at least first impressions wise, looking at getting a tablet, this is a really good choice. Uh, a few other small notes. The speakers on this, well, they look like little dinky speakers uh, are really loud. Uh, Google touted their new partnerships to get the speaker volume up and rocking. And they did a really nice job with this. So you combine you know, the Nexus 7 with perhaps a Chromecast at about 40 bucks, and you got a pretty nice uh, home setup for you. I really enjoyed using it, and again, I'll use it for another couple days before I feel comfortable uh, doing a full review, and I'll talk about the camera and the rest of that stuff, which I really haven't used uh, at all in the past couple days. If there's anything that you guys want to see covered in the full review, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'm John Renger from Techno Buffalo. Please give the video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.